Okay, I'm going to be doing a quick video here. This is not about cooking, as you can tell. Uh, this is about some, simply how to properly open a bottle of beer, pour it, and recap the bottle so that you can keep maximum carbonation for your next drink. Um, I do like drinking a beer while I'm cooking, and uh, let's get right into it. First of all, there are several ways of opening a beer. Everyone has their own opener. I'm going to show you why I don't like openers like this. Uh, these edges, you'll see people crack them open, and what they end up doing is uh, bending the bottle cap. And I'm going to show you why you don't want to do that. This used to be my favorite opener for many years um, until I figured out a new way of capping my beer, which I think is uh, important. Uh, you can use these wine openers. These are nice. They don't damage the bottle cap as much. And uh, I happen to found, find this in our backyard, and it's a paint can opener, but the other side is a bottle opener. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one for here. I know this might be a little elementary, but I just want to be sure that you see what I'm doing. Because I have a small mug here, I never pour the entire beer into the mug all at once. Two reasons for that. I like beer very cold and I like beer well carbonated. When you pour it all in there you end up losing that by the time you get to the bottom of the beer. I'm usually working pretty fast so I don't sip it but every few minutes so. Here's how I open it. I'm going to just crack it a little around the edges. Key is I don't want to damage the bottle cap and I'll show you why here. Okay, next step. I'm very particular again about pouring a beer as you know, any, any beer drinkers out there, you want maximum carbonation. So you're going to make sure you tip the glass more than a 45. I don't know what angle that is quite, but you're going to rest the lip of the bottle on the, on the glass. And you just start kind of drizzling it in there. Now, this happens, no, I'm doing a little dripping here. This happens to be a cold glass. I prefer that. Some people don't like cold glasses. That's fine. As it starts getting to the top, I am dripping a little here. You're going to tip the glass back. Okay. The key is you don't want to over uh, get a big head on the top of the beer. You want the carbonation to stay in what you're going to be drinking. Last step is this. Because I'm going to ref refrigerate this, I may not drink the rest of it for uh, you know an hour or so or possibly later. I'm going to take the cap, push it down on the counter. I'm going to press it in three edges. You can think of it as 9 o'clock. 6 o'clock and 3 o'clock if, if I did that right. Yeah, just not in that order. So you have a cap with three edges smashed and when you go to push it on it clicks. Caps on, sealed, it'll stay overnight and keep the carbonation and that's how to pour a bottle of beer.